Jesus, love you, Jesus loves you. <clears throat> Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are doing well. Have a, I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I hope you celebrate the birth of Jesus. Um, love you, Jesus loves you guys. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's a perfect time to think about salvation. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we're celebrating, we're celebrating Jesus. We're celebrating the birth of Jesus. But he also, he, ca he came to the earth for several reasons. He came to, sh to show us who he is. He came to show us his love. He came to pay for our sin. He came to make it possible to live a holy life, to not sin, and to follow him in love, holiness, truth. So, um, anyways, we don't know, none of us know how long we have on earth. So, it, it's a good time to talk about salvation. So, a lot of people don't want to hear about hell or death. But if you, like, it actually says in the Bible, uh, Solomon, King David's son Solomon, he said it's better to be in a house of mourning than in a house of feasting because that's the end of us all. So it, it's better to go to, to a, you know, a funeral. It's better to go to a funeral than a party because we're all going to be, we're all going to die unless Jesus returns. If, if, but we could die before that. Like the rapture could be in an hour and I could die right now. Like I, this video might not even post. Like I just die. Nobody knows I made this video and I'm either in heaven or hell and people are at my funeral and they're going to be at their own funeral. Like it's important to realize this. So the rapture could happen at any moment but we could die at any moment. There was a tragic accident nearby me. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, there was a tragic accident. People got hurt. People died. Like, complications. We don't know when we're going to die. So it's better to be at a... Few, all right, look. If the rapture is in 200 years... Everybody hearing my voice will die. Everybody hearing, including me, I will die. You will die. We're all going to be dead if the rapture is in 200 years. If the rapture is tomorrow, we could all die too. Like, you know. So, anyways, it's important to think, like, we don't know how much time we have. And, like, we could die from sickness we could die from a heart attack. Uh, we could die in a car wreck. We could die from a stray bullet. We could die from some weird thing. Like, whatever it is. We, you know, nobody knows. Like, nobody except for God. So, and that gives back to my point. We don't know how many times we're going to hear the gospel. We don't know how many times we're going to hear the gospel. So... Like, I hope nobody dies, but somebody could watch this video and not really take it seriously. Like, do you, do you not realize that? Like, there's like thousands of ways to die and God decides when your time is up. So if you've heard the gospel and heard the gospel, you've been warned, like, you need to get right with God. Jesus loves you. Like, the love of Jesus it's not just the wrath of God, but it's the love of God. Like, God is love. Every perfect gift is from above, from the Father of lights. So every good thing that we've ever experienced is from God. And we spit in his face and run our own life. We need to give control of our life back to God, to Jesus, who is the only God. So... We don't know how many times we're going to hear the gospel. We don't know when we're going to die. Like, we don't... Don't wait for the right moment. 
like you try to give your life to Jesus right now, like honestly, if you want to pause this video, pause the video or turn it off and pray. So even if you're a Christian, pray like, am I really saved? Like, okay, so I, I've heard the gospel my whole life. And the Bible says today is the day of salvation. If Today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. And I heard that verse. I was over in Uganda, Africa, trying to get saved. Like, I went to a Christian college to try to get saved. I went to Africa to try to get saved. Like, I'm like, I am going to find God. I don't care. So, uh, I was over in Uganda, Africa, and somebody preached a message. Today is the day of salvation. Don't harden your heart. And I'm like, like, I prayed and I tried. Like, I was like, God, I give you everything. I don't know what to do. Please don't kill me. Please don't let me go to hell. Please help me. Please show me how to be saved. God, please help me. And like, I tried my best to get saved. I talked, I talked to the people, the guy who preached the message. I was like, how do I get saved? I talked to other people like I need to get saved. When I was at the Christian college, I talked to students. I talked to professors. I talked to pastors. I talked to everybody like I got to get saved. Like, I read the Bible, I read books about salvation, like, so I fasted, I prayed, and finally, finally I realized, like, I can't do it, like, I, I gave Jesus my life and I got saved, so eventually I got saved, but if I hadn't taken it seriously, when I heard that message, Today, if you hear, today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. When I heard that message in Uganda, Africa, if I had hardened my heart, I might be dead already or just not a Christian. Like I still might not be saved. So every time you hear the gospel, like it's your moment of salvation. You don't know how many times you're going to hear the gospel. So like for me, anyways, so, and some people like don't go to church or don't listen to sermons. So like, if you only hear the gospel like four times, like you're going to, you hear the gospel four times and then you die. So like, you don't know if you're going to hear the gospel four times or 200 times or a thousand times. Some people have heard it anyways. So we could die at any time and you can't go back. It's hell forever or heaven forever. Did, do, did you know Jesus? Did you give control of your life for Jesus? You like you, Jesus is beaming out of you. Like you're all about Jesus, love, holiness, truth. You have to have a day and a time when you're born again. So, uh, so when you hear the gospel and I'm telling you right now, today is the day of salvation. If you hear his voice, don't harden your heart, turn off the video, give your life to Jesus. Like now, Jesus, just say, just say in your heart or out loud, Jesus from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And then kind of bam, you know, hit something to like, it's final. It's final, Jesus, I give you my life. Whether you're getting saved or recommitting your life or starting over with Jesus, just give everything to Jesus. Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Hit something and then you're all about Jesus, like whatever Jesus wants you to do. So, uh, so like you'll feel the Holy Spirit working on your heart and you surrender your life to Jesus as your God and Savior. And uh, so if it doesn't work, you try your hardest. Every time you hear the gospel, 
Like, you don't know if it's your last time. Like, I say, I say every time you hear the gospel, but the people that got in the car wreck yesterday, like, some of them are dead. Like, I don't know how many times they heard the gospel. So, this literally could be the last time you hear the gospel. So, don't put it off. Like, there's a real hell. So, D.L. Moody, Dwight L. Moody, he was the founder of Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. And he told the people he was preaching to a large audience. And he said, go home and think about it. Go home and think about it. And then make a decision. And it's kind of scary. I just re remembered. It's kind of scary. The largest fire broke out in Chicago. The Chicago fires. The Chicago fires broke out. And many of the people who were thinking about salvation that night died. And it was by fire. Like hell is a lake of fire. A lake of fire and brimstone. So the people who should have already made the decision for Jesus, they should have already made the decision for Jesus while they were there. They died in a fire and went to eternal fire. So we don't know if we have tonight. Like, don't think about it. Like, quit putting it off. Jesus loves you. He's your best friend. He'll be your best friend and your God and master. Don't put it off. Like, this literally could be your last chance. Like, literally. Like, I don't know. I don't know how you'll, like, how you could die Fires broke out in Chicago. Like, people died, like, a lot of people died from the fires in Chicago. So, you don't know how you're going to die. A building could fall. Like, you don't know. So, and besides all that, like, you're just going to die eventually. Even if you die at age 200, you're going to go to hell. Like, you got to give your life to Jesus. So, this could be your last chance. So just talk to God and Jesus loves you and say, Jesus, from now on, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Bam. Give your life to Jesus. So, yeah. Obviously, if you, if you start praying right now, and you pray to Jesus for 24 hours trying to get saved you just keep praying and trying like if it doesn't work you like every second of every day you try to get saved because we don't know how long we have you might die in two days and you pray and beg God please don't send me to hell Please save me. I want to be a Christian. Let's say you pray for two days straight. You get saved and then you die. That's perfect. You'll be with him forever in heaven. So don't put it off like it is not. This is something that needs to consume you. It needs to consume you. I will not stop. If you don't know if you're saved, like I think I'm saved. I don't know. Do not stop. Do not rest until you know you're saved. You obviously... Uh, anyways. You obviously... Like, if you want to stay up all night praying, do it. Like, eventually you need some sleep. You need to eat. You need to eat. You need to get some sleep. But you also need to not, like, all of your waking moments, if you want to stay up all night praying and then take a three-hour nap and then pray some more, read the Bible some more, like, God, save me, help me, I'm in desperate need. Like, literally, you're going to go to hell. Like, the lake of fire forever. I don't know how to make it any more clear. Like, in all of my videos, I'm like, give your life to Jesus. Like, I'm sitting comfortably right now in in a split second 
I could be dead in heaven or hell. Like, I'm like, la, la, la. I could be dead in heaven or hell. So, so I, I really don't know what to say. Like, if you need... If it doesn't work every waking hour, you're talking to people about Jesus. How do I get saved? Call all your friends, relatives, and enemies <laughs> and ask them, how do I give my life to Jesus? Talk to Jesus. Jesus, how do I give you my life? Do not stop until you're saved because we don't know when we're going to die. This could be your last message. So if you just think about it for 10 minutes and go to sleep, you could die in the night. So give your life to Jesus. Jesus will help you to do it. He's a good God. He loves you, but he will send you to hell forever. You don't know when. You, you might have heard the gospel 40 times and he's like, I've had it. That's it. Their, their opportunity is gone. So, you know... We don't realize how sinful we are in the sight of God. We're extremely sinful if we're running our own life. If if we're not, if we haven't given everything to Jesus and the Holy Spirit lives, lives in our heart, like God is angry. So God is angry. Like if he's going to send you to the eternal lake of fire and brimstone, he's pretty angry like some pretty serious stuff. Like we all deserve to go there. I deserve to go there. But I gave everything to Jesus. I no longer run my life. Jesus runs my life. If I make a mistake, I'm like, I'm, I'm so like, God, I never want to do that again. But like Jesus runs my life. So when I die, I'm going to go to heaven because I have the Holy Spirit living in my heart and I follow Jesus. I've been born again January 2011. So I don't have the wrath of God over my head. If you haven't been saved, the wrath of God is going to consume you. So every waking moment, that needs to be your thought. You need to be praying and reading the Bible. So, and like I said, if it doesn't work, don't give up. Every waking moment, think about it. But this could be your last sermon. Like this could be your last somebody telling you about Jesus. Like Jesus loves you. He died for you. He rose from the dead. He died so you so when you die, you're okay. He rose from the dead. He conquered death. Without Jesus, you're going to hell. So anyways, this could be <coughs> this could be the last message you listen to. So, like, when the video ends, give your life to Jesus. So, Jesus Christ is going to return, and I'm going to meet him in the air.